guys, Kiss and Madness to for another video. So, I was trying to do the match review of Manchester City's trip to Selwood Park last night, but you, you know, my phone wasn't working properly, so I'm going to do a match review this morning. So, Celtic and Man City drew 3 3 last night in what was a fantastic game for British football, for European football, for Scottish football, for English football. I thought Celtic brought something back to the Scottish game, I thought I brought pride, passion, determination back to Celtic game. I was so impressed by Celtic in this match, they could have easily won this game. You know, their work great, their determination, their, their courage, their courage to go at Manchester City. They Celtic have been by far the, the only team really that have tested City this season. Not, none of the English clubs have done that against City. They've all struggled to compete with City. And yes, yeah, Celtic's just so great passion and great belief that they could go at the Premier League leaders, but fair play to City, they showed their class and willingness to get back into the match three times. I thought Raheem Sterling was fantastic for Manchester City, I thought Kieran Tierney was brilliant for Celtic, I thought Scott Brown was brilliant for Celtic, I thought Moussa Dembele was brilliant for Celtic, yeah absolutely fantastic. I thought also David Silva, what a player, David Silva for Manchester City as well, every time he got the ball he'd make something happen for Man City when they would hit on the break or when they were on possession. I thought he was tremendous. So, yeah, those guys definitely did that, led up to the billing. And, yes, yeah, Celtic would feel a bit hard done by that they didn't win the match, but this draw could be vital because City have got Barcelona now home and away. Celtic could be hoping that Man City lose both those matches to Barcelona and that maybe if we could beat Borussia Mönchengladbach and Love back at home, maybe go to Germany and sneak a win, maybe a draw... In Germany, that would give us a great chance of possibly going through in second place because City would have to go against Borussia Mönchengladbach back away to have to get a result. Whilst we've got Barcelona at home in the fifth game in the Champions League, but I'm gonna get ahead of myself. The Europa League is realistically where we should be. I think. I think if we beat Borussia Mönchengladbach back in the next game. Then we'll qualify for the Europa League because Borussia Mönchengladbach back have no points after losing to Barcelona last night, so they have to win the game to stay in the competition. And in your so you know, I have to wait and see. But let's move on to the match review. So the game got off to a great start. Celtic completely ran at City for the first ten minutes, and they scored straight away from a set piece. It was a handball by one of the Man City mid defenders. It was a handball as well. Scott Sinclair playing a lovely. Pass to James Forrest, who got him behind the Man City defence. I think it was Fernandinho, wasn't marking properly. He got him behind to play a lovely ball in, and Eric Schiffrich and headed it towards goal and hit Dembele on the chest and went into the net. And it was 1 0 Celtic. He, he was offside, I have to be honest, he was offside, but it was very, very close. And yeah, it just hit Dembele and went in. It was a bit of luck as well, the luck the Celtic really needed. If they were going to get anything in this game. And yeah, it was one of those Celtic and Man City were stunned. And from then on, Celtic were really, really attacking Man City for the first half an hour, 20 minutes of this game. 10 minutes, 20 minutes of this game. Torre and effort pushed away by Bravo. Also, Colo Torre as well was fantastic in this match. I forgot to mention he was superb. City did get a goal back. Pretty much, in the, um, it's a good goal. Well, it wasn't really a good goal. To, to be honest, I'm getting confused with one of their other goals. It was a bit of a fluky goal. I think it was Koloff hit a shot and Fernandinho reacted and he like put it past Craig Gordon. He like wandered into the box, Fernandinho, and it was a good finish and it was 1 1. Rocket had a free kick, that was really lucky. It just went wide of the post. The lead to had an effort, which is be said by Craig Gordon. In the 19th minute, Man City lost the ball in midfield. I think it was Beaton that made to Fernandinho. Fernandinho went to ground. Rogic picked up the ball. Tom Rogic caused Man City all sorts of problems in the first half as well. He ran forward, played a lovely pass. What Zabaleta was doing at right back, I don't know. Sterling had to get back to stop Tierney. Tierney got in front of Sterling, hit the shot towards goal. We hit the England winger on the toe and went past Bravo. And it was 2-1 to Celtic and City were behind again. It was poor defending from Zabaleta, like, I don't know where he went. Like, Rogic pulled him towards the ball, and also Sinclair moved into some space, pulling Zabaleta away, allowing the space for Tierney to run into. But Sterling should have got that back quicker, but he didn't. And, yeah, it was 2-1 to Celtic. Otto Mendied 
and Effa Comfy said by Gordon Aguero, Aguero had a header which just trickled past the post Ben Sterling scored a really good goal he got behind the defence we should have done better to be honest and he went past Tierney and then he put it under Gordon and it was 2-2 Lucy has an effort which goes over the bar Sabaletta has an effort which goes wide you Koloroff has an effort which goes wide Gundawan has an effort which goes wide. Dembele then scored again for Celtic. So it was 2 2 at half time. Man City and Celtic were level. Second half begins. The Celtic scored for a third time. Just like I did in the first half, they attacked City with pace and power. And yeah, Man City just couldn't deal with Celtic's pace in the first few minutes of the game. I think it was down the left hand side. Beaton and Tierney again. They were involved in the second goal. They were involved in the third goal. I think Beaton got away from a few City players, played it to Tierney, Tierney crossed the ball in, Kolarov completely missed the ball, what Kolarov was doing I don't know, he was nowhere near the ball, Kolarov was terrible in this match, and yeah, Dembele literally had acres of space in the penalty box, chest control, and a modified overhead kick, Bravo stood there and it went into the bottom corner, it was a great finish from Dembele, he was fantastic in this match, as I've already pointed out, really good op optimistic finish and yeah Celtic were ahead again and yeah it was just absolutely amazing that Celtic took the lead once again three times in this game and Man City were absolutely stunned there's free kick which I think it was Gundogan hit a shot and Craig Gordon pushed it away really really good save then Melito did it for Manchester City Sterling again Sterling was well in everything for Manchester City him and Silva Sterling played a lovely one to Aguero had a shot. Craig Gordon was so unlucky. He made a great save from Aguero. No Celtic defence acted quick enough. And unfortunately, Nolito put it into the net and it was 3 3. Then after that, City were really dominating for the last half an hour, 20 minutes. Fernandinho has an effort. That was so unlucky. Fernandinho hit one which just went over the crossbar. I thought it was in. Really, really unlucky for Fernandinho. Gundogan had an effort. Tipped over by Craig Gordon. Great reaction save. Hit Eric Shipriachenko as well. So it's deflected. And yeah. Craig Gordon tipped over the crossbar. And Otamendi had an effort which went over the bar as well. From a corner. That's the last effort of the game. Both I think a draw is a fair result. And yeah. Celtic were fantastic. Celtic Park. Again living up to its name. It's one of the best atmospheres in Europe. Man City definitely didn't cope with it very well in this game. Like every time Celtic attacked, City looked shaky, particularly Kolarov and Clichy. Them two were terrible in this game. But fair play to City, they didn't show that they have got quality. And they probably did deserve a draw, to be honest. We'll be gutted that we didn't win the match because we Man City were there for the taking. But yeah, we move on to the next game against Borussia Mönchengladbach back now, which is also at home. They got beat by Barcelona tonight. I reckon we'll beat them at home. I hope, anyway, if we play like that, we should beat Bruce Schimmerich and that back, because they're not as good as Manchester City. They've got quality, don't get it wrong, but they're not as good as Manchester City or Barcelona. Up next for us is Dundee in the league on Saturday, which we should win. Scott Brown did get injured in this game. I hope he's all right, but I think he will be, because he didn't go off, and I thought he was tremendous in this game. He showed great heart. His passion, his courage, you know, was fantastic. He proved why... He was a good Scotland captain, in my opinion. So, yeah, great result, Celtic. Well done. Showed great character. Brendan Rodgers' pun, but oh well. And yeah, fair play to Brendan Rodgers and Chris Davis. They got their tactics spot on to attack City, and it worked because we got a draw out of it. We didn't get beat. So, yeah, well done, boys. Let's move forward. Thanks for watching, everybody. And to all the Celtic fans, and to any English fans who didn't give Celtic a chance last night. Get up, yes. But until next time, guys, see you later. Hell, hell, and peace.